All right, let's get serious about the basic tool, expand out. I have talked about this on so many podcasts, so many radio shows every time because it is an incredible, incredible tool that has changed my life. All right, let me back it up. Here's what it's about. The expand out tool is the tool that's going to stop you from taking on other people's thoughts, their judgment, their emotion, their negativity, their crap and you're not going to feel bombarded and weighted down. So if you are a highly sensitive person, you're, you know, you are empath, all of those terms that people like to use. If you find that you really take on the stuff from other people, this is going to be a life changing tool. Absolutely. Okay. So let me walk you through the tool and then I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about why it works and how it works for those of you that like more explanation, but let's dive into the tool. So basically energy follows intention. Super easy. All I want you to do is play and experiment with this. I want you to just be that childlike. I wonder, I wonder what this will do. I wonder what this will be like. Okay. You with me? All right. So here's what you're going to do. You're just going to, you know, I'm going to ask you questions and you're just going to follow the energy out. So I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the room. And I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the city. And I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the country. And I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the world. Or I keep jumping out. I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the solar system. And I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the galaxy. Right, we're going to keep going out. I wonder what it would feel like if you were as big as the universe. And all the way out. I wonder what it would feel like if you were stretched out to the edges of infinite space. So the idea with that is that you are, you are allowing your energy to expand out. You're allowing it to move out. You're not forcing it. You're not trying to make it happen. So if you're the type of person that tends to get up in your head, here's what's going to happen with you is that you're going to be like initially like, well, how do I make that happen? How do I force that to go? How do I expand out? I don't know how to expand out. And it's not about how do I expand out? It's noticing that you're expanding out. Okay, there's a difference because if you're intellectual, what will happen is that you'll expand out and then you'll be like, I don't know how to do that. And then you'll contract back in. Okay, so it is noticing and just letting yourself observe. It's so, so easy. <laughs> okay, the biggest thing, getting your brain out of the way. All right, let's talk about why this is so powerful. So when we think about other people's thoughts and emotions, it's kind of like junk coming at us, right? So I like to make this analogy. So other people's stuff is post-it notes, right? We've got all these post-it notes flying around. If you do the traditional shield and bubble and put up a wall and try to protect yourself, do all those kinds of things, post-it notes are going to be piling up and piling up and piling up. They actually get to stick to you. So even though you're like, you're buffered, but it's there, it's there on the outside and it's mucky. But instead, if you expand out, you become like the wind. You're spacious. It's moving. You have freedom. You can just, you know, get around things, right? Everything just flows and you cannot stick a single post-it note on the wind. So this is the game changer. When you go from spending all of that energy to shield and bubble, which I did for years and it was fantastic. I really did like 20 years. It saved my life. But when I found this, this was a game changer because I didn't have to spend all of that energy and I didn't have to take it on in the first place. That's the key. So by expanding out on a regular basis, training yourself to expand out, you're going to unlock a good portion of what you think you need to break free of because it's not even yours, right? It's really fun. So here's the thing, just to really lock this in, I want you to, do, to attach it to a habit. So maybe every time you go to the bathroom, especially uh, ladies in the house, like seriously, like we go pee a lot. So every time you go pee, you're going to expand out. That's great. You're probably going to have about 10 or 12 times a day that you're going to be expanding out. Otherwise, grab your cell phone, set up an alarm on your cell phone for every half hour to buzz you or give you a nice gentle ringtone to reminder. When you get good at this, actually, you just need to do it a few times. And it's really just the time of a deep breath. So one deep breath, expand all the way up to infinite space. 
having that intention of like, oh yeah, reminder, I can be space. I can have lots of space. When you start really training yourself, um, within about three to six months, you will see a noticeable difference. And it's like, it's one deep breath, which, hey, you could use some extra oxygen. Ah, bonus, extra little piece. Highly, highly, highly recommend that you put something in place to remind you on a regular basis to implement this tool because it is a game changer and it is the foundation for the work that I do with all of my clients. It is absolutely vital. Can't stress that enough. Love, 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 love this tool. So this is your badass business mindset tool for today. My name is Dana Ferrant. And if you're ready to ramp up your business with a whole lot more ease, stepping into some badass mindset with the inner dominatrix energy, it's time for us to talk. Head over to bookdana.im. That's bookdana.im.